U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement. What's up everyone, General Discharge here. Today's video is going to be discussing the United States Immigration and Customs Enforcement, commonly referred to as ICE. You've most likely heard about ICE before, as they are talked about a lot in the media. ICE is a federal law enforcement agency that falls under the Department of Homeland Security. It was formed in 2003 in response to 9-11. ICE has two primary components, Homeland Security Investigations and Enforcement and Removal Operations. We'll explain these later in the video. There's more to ICE than just apprehending undocumented individuals. Stick around and you'll see how. If you want to know more about ICE, what it does, its missions, capabilities, training, requirements, its special response teams, and much more, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Before we jump into it, make sure to take a moment and show us some love and support by liking our video and subscribing to our channel. Your support is our lifeblood. Do not hesitate to ask us questions in the comments section below. We check everything. The single largest area of responsibility of ICE is to combat cross-border criminal activity. It is a critical component of the overall safety, security, and well-being of the United States. As one of the United States' premier federal law enforcement agencies, ICE is dedicated to detecting and dismantling transnational criminal networks that target the American people and threaten our industries, organizations, and financial systems. How does ICE accomplish all of that? By means of the HSI and ERO. Let's go over what both of them are. Let's start off with Homeland Security Investigations. In the HSI, you're most likely going to be a special agent. This is the badge of an HSI special agent. Consisting of more than 10,000 employees, HSI is the principal investigative component of the DHS. It is responsible for investigating, disrupting, and dismantling transnational criminal organizations and terrorist networks that exploit the customs and immigration laws of the U.S. The HSI has more than 250 offices across the U.S., as well as over 80 offices around the world. The crimes that are under the HSI's purview are quite plenty, and you're about to see. On screen are all of the transnational crimes HSI investigates. Pause the screen to take a longer look. We'll get back to the HSI in a bit. Let's go over what the enforcement and removal operations is now. If you're in the ERO, you're most likely an officer. This is the badge for them. To put it simply, the ERO are the ones who are arresting and deporting undocumented individuals. The ERO upholds U.S. immigration law at, within, and beyond the United States borders. It manages all aspects of the immigration enforcement process, including identification and arrest, domestic transportation, detention, bond management, and supervised release, including alternatives to detention. It removes undocumented individuals that are ordered to be removed from the U.S. to more than 170 countries around the world. These undocumented individuals can be gang members, those who have violated immigration laws, and immigration fugitives who are ordered to be removed by federal immigration judges. Not only do they get domestic fugitives, they also get international fugitives as well. ERO deportation officers assigned to Interpol, which is the international police organization, assist in fugitive arrest and removal cases for those wanted for crimes committed abroad who are now at large in the U.S. Okay, so you got an idea of what the major elements of ICE are, but what else is there to know? Did you know General Discharge has an Instagram? We actively post memes, video updates, and whatever else we feel like. Join the team and follow us at general.discharge. Links in the description. Now back to the video. Well, the HSI has its own special response teams. HSI SRT operates as a federal SWAT element for each of the 17 offices that have one. HSI SRT's main missions are to deal with HSI's high-risk arrest and search warrants, VIP protection, sniper coverage, security, barricaded subjects, and rural area operations. They've done more than that, though. They've helped out with natural disasters such as Hurricane Katrina and the Haiti earthquake. Because of their strong relationship with the United States Special Operations Command, they receive soft gear for their members too, which is pretty cool. The SRT is a collateral duty for HSI special agents for those who are assigned to an office that has one. A collateral duty means you still do your regular job, but with a little something extra. 
Remember, there's only 17 offices that have SRTs. These are where they are. Pause the screen to take a longer look. Okay, let's say you're at one of the field offices that has one. How do you find yourself in an SRT? To qualify, you'd have to pass a physical fitness test, qualify with multiple firearms by shooting 90% or better in full tactical gear, and pass an oral interview process. If you pass all of that and receive the green light to join a team, you will be a part of the green team. Keep in mind, while this is the same name as the one SEAL Team 6 uses, it's not the same group. You'll train with SRT members until they send you to the SRT Initial Certification course, where you'll have to pass additional physical fitness, firearms, scenario-based, and written tests. To give you an idea of how small SRT is, out of the 7,100 special agents, there are about 300 SRT members throughout the US. But to get into the SRT, you need to get into ICE in the first place. What's the training like to get in ICE? Let's get into it. The ICE Academy is held at Fletzy in Glencoe, Georgia. Depending on whether or not you're joining the HSI or ERO, your training length will vary from 4 to 6 months. The training doesn't stop there though. Once you graduate, you'll get additional training wherever you go. Okay, we're going to quickly go over what the training is for both HSI and ERO candidates. Both of the candidates receive training in basic law enforcement tactics, immigration law, firearms training, emergency response driving, and constitutional law. HSI, on the other hand, gets training in U.S. Customs Law, Warrant Service, Advanced Tactics, Undercover Operations, Criminal Interrogation, and Weapons of Mass Destruction. ERO gets several weeks of Spanish language training, as well as hands-on training dealing with apprehending undocumented individuals. So, you know the training required to join ICE, but what are the requirements? While there are a lot of different career fields in ICE, we're just sticking with special agents and officers here. The basic requirements to join ICE are these. Pause the screen to take a longer look. There you go. You now know a decent overview of ICE. We went over with you its makeup, missions, training, and requirements. If you're into learning more about other civilian and law enforcement entities, we've done plenty of videos on them. On screen are all the videos we've done thus far. There will be a playlist in the description for them. Well, that is the down and dirty of the United States Immigration and Customs Enforcement. If you learned something from this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. As always, thank you for watching. Do you even want to be here? A big shout out to all of our YouTube members and our patrons over at our Patreon. Thank you all so much for taking the extra step in supporting our channel. It is much appreciated. If you'd like to be featured on a general discharge video, consider joining our membership with the link in the description or the join button to the left of the subscribe button. Or go give our Patreon a look and join the team. Here's Nick Nausea. All your friends are subscribing to general discharge and you don't even want to be here.